Good evening, everyone. We are back for another session of Jesus Shorts. Tonight, we're going to be talking about Caesarea Philippi. Caesarea Philippi had um, um, a definite, definite segment of importance. Um, Mark 8. So, now, Yehoshua and his disciples went out to the villages around Caesarea Philippi. On, on the way, he asked his disciples, uh, who do men say that I am? Now, Caesarea Philippi was a two-day walk from the western side of the Sea of Galilee where Jesus had fed 40,000 people. And after that, he took these people here because it was on his way to Jerusalem. He stopped here to say, okay, before you leave, before we get to Jerusalem, you need to know what you're going to be up against. Um, they told him, some say John, John the Immerser and others say Elijah but others, one of the prophets. Then he asked them, but well, who do you say I am? Peter answered him, you are the Messiah. And he warned them not to tell anyone because his time is not yet. So then he began to teach them uh, that the son of man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and the ruling Kohanim, the priests and the Torah scholars um, and be killed. You notice how this doesn't shed a very good light on scholars and priests. Um, that's not me talking, that's Jesus. And, and after three days, rise again. He was, he was speaking openly about this, and Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But turning around and looking at his disciples, he rebuked Peter. If you, if you know me at all, if you've been around me at all, I've always said Peter, Peter only took his foot out of his mouth for one reason, to change feet because he was always putting his foot in his mouth. Um, but he rebuked Peter. He said, get behind me, Satan. Now, that's not, a, that's not a vote of confidence to someone when the guy who created Satan is saying, you're just like him. You're being like him. Quit acting like that, you little brat. Um, you are not setting your mind on the things of God, but the things of men. First John chapter 2, do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For everything in the world, the desire of the flesh, the desire of the eyes, the, and the boasting of life is not from the Father, but from the world. And the things of the world came from Satan. That is where the original sin came from. The world is passing away along with its desire, but the one who does the will of, the, of God abides forever. Um, now, I just wanted to point out before we close that um, in Caesarea Philippi, it was a two-day walk uphill, and that all the way for those two days, they're passing statues of Pan, um, and Caesarea Philippi was covered up in statues of Pan. They had priests to Pan. It was the most, and we think of Pan as this cute little half, ant, half boy, half goat, but he was actually the most evil of all the gods, the culmination of the gods. So anyway, um, this was a dangerous setting that Jesus was making them take a stand. And he was saying, it's not going to be easy. It wasn't like when we fed 50,000 or 40,000 people and everybody loved us because they're not going to love you. So anyway, um, check us out at streetlightgr.com, Facebook. You'll see we have a teachings down there of over an hour. Um, we also have a number of Jesus shorts. And as always, please be blessed, but also remember to be a blessing. Thank you.